All right, y'all, so a question I often get asked is what's the best brokers to use in the market? For some reason, we think that the brokers are gonna scam us or take our money from us. And so I wanna make a quick video on the brokers that I did the research on and feel like they are the best ones. Again, this is my personal opinion. Often, though, I'll be honest with you, all of them typically do the same thing. They just have a couple things here and there that may be a little better, a couple features that may be better. But most importantly, it depends on you as an investor. So, as we get into this uh, video, before we get into it, I want you to like, I want you to subscribe, talk to us in the chat, tell us how can we help you on this journey. Let's get it. So, it's just out the gate, you know, I'll say for beginners, and I wrote this down, for beginners, I truly like Webull. Um, the reason why I like Webull for beginners is because they allow you to do these automated portfolios where you can say, you know, I want to, I want this portfolio to look like this, right? And then all you do after that point is just and put your money in there and they'll allocate how it goes. So you say you build out the portfolio the way you want it and then you say, okay, let me put $100 in, $200 in. They'll distribute it around a portfolio for you. Also, they have like pre-built portfolios that beginner, can, beginner investors can get into. I like that option because most people just don't really know what they want, but they do know they want to invest. And I think you just wanting to invest out the gate is truly the most powerful thing you can make. I will say Webull would be the number one for beginners. Now, I'm talking about elementary beginners, right? Kindergarten, pre-K kindergarten. Grade school beginners, first through sixth grade type of beginners, right? I would truly go with E-Trade, and here's why. Out the gate, best customer service in the game. It used to be TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, wanna buying them. Um, I will truly say I think that E-Trade has the best customer service in the game. But as we go a little further into E-Trade, they do ch uh, charge a uh, 50 cent to 65 cent on any ETF that you trade, and they do use uh, zero dollars on any other single stock trades. That's not bad, but most importantly, what I like about E-Trade is it is so user friendly on the mobile phone. Now that is what I like. Now I did try to use like Charles Schwab on my phone, I got it, but it wasn't, like it took me a while to, like, to figure it out once they made the swap over. E-Trade is just super duper simple on the phone. It is a boop, boop, boop. It is a beep, beep, beep. It's done. Um, so I do like E-Trade as the um, mobile friendly app for the phone. I like E-Trade for that. As we go a little further now, further now I will say this. I called Charles Schwab customer service, um, and they were really good. Uh, what I did like about Charles Schwab was the way they had my, account, my accounts set up differently, um, and the way they helped me navigate through. So I have my primary account, I have a, a, like a little account that I take a lot of risk in, and I have my daughter's account, and I got my Roth IRA, which got transferred from TD Ameritrade. And the way they have them set up is really simple, really cool. Um, it was a little different than E-Trade. That transition was real cool. So I will say that I had no problem with, uh, with dealing with Charles Schwab. Again, no, no minimums is also good. Like you can start with, with, with $1,000 or $500. So uh, I did like that concept a little bit more. Uh, as we go a little further, I looked at Fidelity. Now here's what I will say, it's not the simplest platform to navigate, right? But one of the things that Fidelity does has that is really good that I saw that they had that was better than a lot of the other accounts was they, they give you the best options with uh, the cash that you have sitting. So they call that uh, cash management. management, management. Uh, I like that because they had the highest interest rates possible for your cash that's sitting around, but also uh, they had industry leading insurance. So the way that Fidelity protects your money that's sitting in their portfolio was really, really good. I did not, I was like, ah, okay. I see what they're doing here. And so all of the platforms pretty much do the same thing. They just have a tweak here and there that some may do better than the other. Last on my list, man, 
one of the last ones on my list is Robin Hood, bro. Like, I know y'all gonna just go, just jump on Robin Hood and go crazy with it, but it's not the best. The cut, they are, they are putting out new pla new products to help the new investors, right? But the way they made people lose money on GameStop, I just can't get past that. The way they have no customer service, I just can't get past that. So I'm not gonna be the one to tell you Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood. Now, for all of my experienced, experienced, experienced people that really go crazy, uh, interactive brokers, best, best, best one hands down. Uh, when it comes to research tools, uh, when it comes to execution of your orders, when it has stock, there's not a stock that's not on there. It's not an ETF that's not on there. Like tools to analyze, uh, education, man. <laughs> IBKR, International Interactive Brokers, is probably, in my perspective, the best online brokerage for traders, but you got to be a trader. Interactive brokers, I tried to get on it, and I was like, whoa, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot going on on here. But the, the, the information that they give you access to, the tools that they give you access to, uh, it's going to take you a little while to navigate that, but it's so advanced. Uh, trading all over the world is nothing that is not. This is hands down, you know, top tier. No lie, top tier. Um, it is, it is, it is that one. I will get into like a SoFi. Mm, not. You do have access to IPOs, uh, but I'm not a fan of it. Cash App, not a fan of it at all. Like, don't Cash App, do not use Cash App to invest in stocks. That ain't what they do, right? Yes, they made it easier for you because they just want to get a little piece of the party. Cash App, don't use it. But that's it, man. For beginners, I, I will say go Webull, after Webull, E-Trade, no, after Webull, E-Trade, after E-Trade, Charles Swap, Charles Swap, then Fidelity. Um, again, not a big fan of Robin Hood, but I know most people are gonna use it to get in the game. I'm not mad at it, but at some point I need you to graduate to a better platform for sure. Uh, but if you top tier, you really get it, you top tier, interactive brokers. I ain't even on it yet. You know what I'm saying? It's just do so much and because of just what I do, but interactive brokers is the best in the game, man. So I hope I helped y'all out with this. But again, all of the platforms pretty much do the same doggone thing. They're not trying to take your money. They're not trying to scam you. I truly think that this is where you get the best bang for your buck at. So I hope I helped y'all out, man. Again, man, it's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Uh, look into the comments, man. Whoever asked you anything about Bitcoin or asked you anything about um, Bitcoin or freaking WhatsApp, it ain't me. Don't, don't mess with it. I'm trying to help you. You hear me? So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, comment, like, share. I'm out.